Hey, I'm Cesar from Chatwith. Today we want to explain, share with you some, some ideas, topics about how to make money as an agency using our tools. First, I, I, want, to, I want to go through this, uh, this small presentation. I want to, I want to share with you some, some ideas. Uh, first is, is, this is about, you know, what is an agency? An agency normally is someone uh, developing the online presence for their clients. No, you can create uh, Instagram, Google My Business, a website. Maybe you do TikToks, Facebook. I mean, you create normally the first phase is to develop the online presence for your client. Okay. As a second step, normally you will add, uh, you will create ads to increase the lead generation. No, because you know, as you know. Only you know to be online is not enough. No, you need to do you need to do something to get clients. No, uh, lead magnets, SEO, you name it. But you know sometimes it's like okay, I have a business, it's working. I need more clients because if I have more clients, I can make more business. No, and you can start doing some Google ads, Meta ads, the same. You name it. But you know the client normally is going to say something like this. No. Where are my clients? No, where are my F clients? What that means? That means sometimes you do you do everything. <clears throat> you have the data, you see traffic, you see you know leads being generated. Sometimes sometimes you do everything, but your clients don't you know receive, don't see you know the conversion. They don't see the leads. They don't see. You know, and this is where we can help. This is where our solution will help you, you know, to funnel the leads in the best possible way and also to share a CRM with your clients. So let's go. Let's see how, how you can do it. First, let me let me log out so you can see this. This is a white. This is a one one hundred percent white label solution. This is a this is the URL. The URL is is yours. <clears throat> and you can create your account. Okay, so let's, let's let's log in as an agency. And this is my admin account. This is not my client's account. This is my admin account. Okay, as an admin, as no, as the admin, I can I can check all my widgets. I can you know see what's happening. I can improve the widgets for my clients. If a, if a widget is not working, I can you know change it, update it everything no you, you control everything that is happening here so for example i was doing this this lead magnet um, landing page let's say you have a client this client needs a, a promotion a landing page and you can do something like this for you know to capture leads no this is something you can you can do with with a widget in this case the widget is is the what well, the widget itself you know here we have the information, the agent, okay, and the agent has a has a, this form, and in this form we ask you know the clients some questions, no, like hey, tell me your name, what's your phone number, what is your website, and for example, you know what you want to do. I want to get more clients, and this is my budget, okay. So let's do it. Uh, my website is uh, chat with okay, and I book a session. This goes to WhatsApp, you know, as as usual. This uh, this makes everything, and I have the lead. The lead is here with all the information. Okay, this is happening. It's working fantastic. How can I share access with my client to this uh, control panel? Let's say I have, you know, you can, you can, you can make unlimited, uh, you can make a, unlimited uh, widgets, you can make unlimited leads, you can, this everything is unlimited. So you can have one client, twenty clients, a hundred clients, you name it. Your clients can have one agent, two agents, ten agents, the same. Everything is unlimited. You can charge as much or as low as you want. Okay, you pay once to us. You charge to your clients unlimited. Okay, this is this is your business. So it's 
we want to give you the tools so you can expand and make your business you know better so this is a this is another agent i want to show you this example because in this example what i was doing <coughs> You know, it's, this is a, a lead magnet, and in the lead magnet, you can add a file to download, okay? Like, please, fill up this form, and we will give you a download. Uh, you, will, we will, we, you will get a link to download this tutorial in your WhatsApp, okay? So the client, you know, fill up the form, and you will get the leads in your control panel. And the leads are here, okay? This is all the information. And you can see, you know, how these clients, how these leads are, are working. Okay, now, how can I share access to this widget with my client? This is very easy. You go to Teams and you can create users to have access to these uh, widgets. So this, this button, just so just in case, this button is to make a, an admin to Let's say you work with a colleague and you want to have different access. You can share access. That's that's not something that's something we don't control. So that's that's completely up to you. But if you want to have a colleague with their account, you can create an admin, and this admin will have the same access you have. Okay. And this this is a team member. Team member is a client or a colleague who is going to have access to one widget. Okay, so let's create the user. Let's call this new client at uh, cards.com and we create a password. Here you have some, some controls, but for now, let's, let's focus on, on creating the user. We create the user and now I can choose the widget I want to share with this user. So let's, let's choose lead magnet. I choose this one. Okay, this is done. Okay, the user is here. Obviously, from here, if you want, you can delete the user. Okay, if you don't want this user to have access to your account, you can delete the user. Okay, this is something you... Now we will see how you can control, you know, even better the access. But, you know, one option is, hey, I delete the user. This user is gone. Or I can change the password anytime here. I can make a new password and this user will will not have access to the to the widgets okay this user is created let's go here again this user is created the access is here okay so now let's log in as this client obviously they will you know they will log in through your account okay the client will go through your account and they will see their access I go to my account, I see stats, I see the latest clients, I can see some, you know, uh, charts here about, you know, how this is going. And here I can see my leads, okay? I can see the, you know, how many leads I have, you know, the information, I can contact them. Uh, I can add a new contact if I want, you know, as a client, I can do that. I can filter my leads. Okay, this is the basic access for a client. If you want, let's go back as an agency, as the admin, I mean. If you want, you can give access to edit the widget. If you add ed edition role, okay, it's done. They have access to the to the widget now. This user can edit everything about the widget. I go to the account and now I can see the widget. I can edit the widget. I can go to the agent. I can edit the agent. Okay, everything is here for me to manage. Okay. The same, do you want to do this? It's all based on your business, how you want to work with your clients, how you want to manage your clients, how you want to you know, set up, onboard your clients. Clients cannot create new widgets. They cannot create new agents. Why? Because we think it's better for you to control you know, what your clients are doing, you know, how many widgets they have, where they have the widgets maybe you can charge more based on that maybe you can charge more 
you know, uh, based on the usage, the same. This is for you to control, but we think it's better for you to set up the widget. You put it in their website or you create the landing page or you put it in Google My Business. You know, this is all uh, up to you. And then you share access with the client to their widget. Okay, so that's that's how it's set up. Okay, for now is is what you have. So, uh, what happens? Uh, what 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 else can happen? Let's say you have a, a, a widget. Let's say you want to uh, stop this widget uh, from working. So let's go here. You have this option: deactivate outbound services, landing widget and link. Okay, if you click this, this widget is not going to work anymore. Okay, there is no preview. The landing page is not going to is not going to to work okay everything under your white label domain but you know this you stop the widget the resources from working okay this is this is is it's like it's gone okay your client is going to have access to the account but they cannot use the widget anymore okay they will see the leads, they will see their information, but there is no access. The widgets are not working, okay? If I go to my account, I still can see the leads, I still can see my information, but the, you know, the resources are not working. You know, the widget is gone, the link is gone, the landing page is gone. So this is something you can do. If you want to block the user from you know accessing their account either you change the password or you uh, delete the user this is uh, up to you this uh, this part you know teams if you delete the user you don't delete the widget okay the widget is working the link is working the landing page is working but the user do not have access to the control panel okay so it's like two separate entities, the widget, landing page, link, all that is one part. Access to the account is another part, okay? But you can control, you know, what is happening. Either you delete the user. I mean, if you want to stop everything from this customer because, you know, he canceled the account, he doesn't want to work with you, you need to delete the user and then you need to delete or stop the the widget also you can uh, you can deactivate the widget okay if you want you can stop the widget to from working so these are different controls for you to <clears throat> stop or resume the uh, you know the the widget from from working uh, let's change this okay now it's working okay uh, what else? Design options. I think this is something you know. You can change the design. This is this is all uh, up to you. The client can access to this part. Uh, let's go log out. I mean, the, the client, if you give access to the editor, the client can do pretty much anything they want. I mean, they can go here. They can go to the design section, change the design. I mean, this is, you know, they can do... They can create, a, they can change the landing page. They cannot create a new landing page. They cannot create a new uh, widget, but they can edit as much as they want their existing uh, resources. Uh, what else? I think I think that's that's pretty much everything. I mean, of course, we want to keep adding uh, new resources. Uh, we want to keep adding new, you know, material. Uh, I'm going to make you know some examples about how to promote your business, how you can use the tool to promote your business and to sell you know your solution to your clients, because you know <clears throat> creating a webinar, I think makes sense. Creating you know events for your clients makes sense. I think all that makes sense, and I think it's a it's a good way to you know to work with your clients. So you know what what do we want to do? You have an agency, you are creating websites and or you create ads for your clients. I mean, we know we know agencies who only do development. Fantastic. 
other agencies only do ads. Fantastic. Other agencies, they do both development and ads. What you need, a, you know, a CRM solution where your clients can see, you know, the leads, they can see what's happening, they can see the performance, they can see, you know, what's going on, they can see, you know, how many leads I have, they can contact their leads, they can work with those leads, they can, you know, uh, create a funnel, you know, they can they can make something like, hey, I want to have this, you know, set up like, like, like this, you know, you can do, you can give them, you know, I think a nice tool for your clients to, you know, develop how they work with their clients, how they manage the leads, how they do things, you know, in terms of sales, you know, in terms of uh, everything. Uh, let me show you the mobile view. The mobile view, I think, is, I think is very nice. Uh, this is desktop. Let's take this and let's put it in, in mobile version. You know, the mobile version is, is like this and you have here the menu. You know, you have the widgets, the agents, so you can edit and you have your, your leads, you know. I think this is a nice view for, you know, for your clients to, uh, you know, this is a new client. You know, they can, they can take notes, they can add amounts to their clients or, you know, proposals. Uh, they can filter, they can search. So I think this is a nice, you know, view for your clients to, you know, work, you know, online if they are, you know, if they are, you know, uh, doing sales, you know, uh, remotely, if they are working with clients, uh, I think this is a nice, uh, you know, environment tool to help them, you know, man manage the, the leads. And they can, they can see, you know, uh, everything. They can see, hey, what happened last month? They can see it. Uh, how many leads from Google Ads? This amount. How many leads from Facebook Ads? I mean, they can see everything that is happening. So if you want to work like that with your clients, I think this is a very nice uh, tool for you. I think it's a nice tool for your agency, for your clients. Their relationship is going to be, you know, better, stronger. So hope you like it. Hope this is a nice uh, add-on for you. And please create an account and we will be happy to help you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.